In the words of the great black activist Marcus Garvey, a people without knowledge of their past history, origin, and culture is like a tree without roots. Dr. Reginald Murphy, archaeologist and director of heritage at the National Parks, says the physical aspects must be preserved. And it's how we know what we know, how we learn about the past by looking at the physical, tangible evidence. So these, are the, these artifacts, as simple as they look, they're clues about the life ways of people who are long gone, our ancestors. The historic Betty's Hope Sugar Plantation is just one of many heritage sites dotting the island. Dr. Murphy says archaeologists have been studying this site for years. So we did a lot of survey work using a lot of drone photography and you know, uh, photogrammetry and sort of sampling. And you know, one of our samples of one of the houses, we uncovered a domestic area that has where people are making buttons. Dr. Murphy says relics of the past pop up daily, but access to proper storage facilities is a significant problem. Everybody wants to have their stuff back. It's nice to have it back, but it puts the responsibility on us. Who is going to look after it? Where are you going to put it? How are you going to preserve it and conserve it? Who's going to interpret it and be responsible for it? You can't just bring it back and stick it in a box. These artifacts were found at Betty's Hope and only recently returned to Antigua by the California State University who assisted the museum in the preservation. Another issue facing his team is the condition they find the artifacts in. He says construction and agricultural work shatter the oftentimes fragile pottery works buried beneath the surface. We only found two intact ones in all of these years in Bat's cave by a young boy at the time, this Mark, his name was. He crawled into the hole inside Bat's cave and came out and he pushed these things out for us. They were some, probably hidden there by an escapee. Restoration is also an expensive undertaking. Getting this sugar mill turning again in 1995 cost just under 100,000 US dollars. It is a delicate process, but Dr. Murphy believes it is necessary. Broken bits and pieces, but to us, they are our history, our culture. And it's up to us, you and me, to put together the pieces of the puzzle. Rakib Aparisi reporting for ABS News.